Hello folks, welcome back to the show here on Flick Direct, where I give you guys the latest that happened in entertainment news throughout the week, and then I give you all my personal take on the matter at hand. I'm your host Austin Pundum, and we have quite a bit to get through when it comes to entertainment news in general this week, so let's just get into our first news story of this week, and apparently it is all to do with the Uncharted movie, and apparently that it's kind of resumed production. Now, I don't remember how long ago this was, but I do remember that Tom Holland did say that while he was sitting down with Bill with Tom Rothman, that he was a huge fan of the Uncharted game, specifically with Uncharted 4. If you guys do remember that they were on their, I think their first day of filming, they got shut down midway through their first day of filming, if I remember correctly. And now, supposedly, from what I've been hearing, they're resuming filming, although that's not the case. What I'm hearing is the actual story is that it's just Tom Holland is working out with Mark Wahlberg, to which if you guys do remember correctly, Mark Wahlberg was cast as the younger version of Sully from the video games. Mark Wahlberg, if you have seen what he does in terms of working out, I mean, if you guys don't know his workout regimen, apparently he goes to bed between 7 to 8 o'clock at night and wakes up at 3 a.m. just so he can get an early workout in. This man is insane, and knowing that Tom Holland is doing this with Mark Wahlberg, I gotta say, that's commitment. Also, I feel like I should probably add that Ruben Fleischer is apparently the film's director now. I'm kind of mixed on Ruben Fleischer directing this film. I mean, I loved his work on Zombieland. I didn't love Zombieland Double Tap. I thought it was a really fun movie, but not nearly as good as the original. But besides those two movies, I mean, Venom wasn't a fan. 30 Minutes or Less was fine and I couldn't really get through Gangster Squad. I really don't know how I feel about this, although I've been hearing the script is actually great, so we'll just have to see, but I'm so excited for this movie nonetheless. Hopefully it can actually be a very good video game adaptation, I'm praying. I mean, if they mess up Uncharted, don't you dare. Alrighty guys, so coming up onto the next news story of this week, I'm not gonna lie, I saw this headline and I got immediately excited, but anyways, getting on to the point, as you all know, due to the coronavirus, many films have either been delayed and definitely have either been scheduled to come out next year, or they have been hitting streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and also HBO Max. And speaking of Netflix, apparently, Netflix apparently has committed to their biggest budgeted movie at the moment, and that is a new Russo Brothers film called The Gray Man from what I saw, and apparently it's starring Chris Evans and Ryan Gosling. Holy sh**. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I really don't know anything about The Gray Man in terms of its plot or the synopsis. All I know are three things. The Rooster Brothers are directing it. I mean, their name alone should get you guys excited. I mean, if you guys didn't love Endgame Infinity War or their work and just in general in the MCU, I don't know what to tell you guys. And Chris Evans and Ryan Gosling. How in the hell can you guys not get any excitement from those three things alone? I mean, Netflix has been killing it as of recently. I mean, holy crap, but I'm really excited to see this thing just knowing those names alone, I mean, oh my god. So coming up onto the next story of this week, we got some news surrounding AMC theaters that apparently AMC theaters will survive, but just for now. So like I just mentioned in our previous news story, due to this darn virus, movie theaters have been shut down for quite some time. They were actually supposed to open up this month, and now due to the delay, of course, of many movies, specifically AMC theaters, is be is supposedly going to be opening up next month. But honestly, I highly doubt it. Like seriously, I highly doubt they're going to open up next month. If anything, I can see them probably opening up in October. That is if people actually abide to what's going on right now and not are acting like idiots. But anyways, that's a topic from their time. AMC theaters has this new deal. They have secured a new credit deal for their debt and that apparently if they don't reopen for quite some time at least until 2021 i think until midway through they'll be fine now for my friend the story is this amc theaters is still in trouble they're still not out of the woods yet they're still in deep deep waters however with this new deal that they have managed to acquire or that they have managed to negotiate they will be okay they're not out of the woods they're gonna be fine but just for now until i believe it was mid 2021 it makes me hopeful that they can survive during this pandemic i mean i think this pandemic will start to get better maybe by the end of this year maybe by spring of next year but i am praying hopefully 
by the end of this year because of how things are going right now. I am praying that AMC theaters will survive because I love AMC so much. They provide some of the best experiences with D-Box. D-Box? I haven't done D-Box in a long time. What the hell am I talking about? But with things such as Dolby, especially with IMAX, I mean, I love going into that IMAX theater at AMC so much. But anyways, I'm really hoping that AMC can survive all of this. So getting on to our second to final news story of this week, we got some news surrounding New Mutants. So New Mutants, I feel really bad for this movie. The New Mutants is a movie that I think we can all see is just cursed, it's haunted, because this movie was supposed to come out such a long time ago. And as you all know, Comic-Con is happening very, very soon. Well, Comic-Con at home, I should probably say. And from what I've been hearing, there is a story out there that New Mutants is going to have a Comic-Con panel for Comic-Con at home. And from what I've been hearing, there's a new trailer out. The question I ask is right now, what do we think is going to happen with the New Mutants panel? I mean, I'm hoping to God that they just drop New Mutants on Disney+. Plus. I mean, it's been delayed so many times, and I know it's supposed to be coming on August, but let's be real here. Dude, everything happening, I don't think it's going to happen. So honestly, dropping it on Disney+, Plus really seems like the best course of action to go. I'm really looking forward to this panel, and I really do hope that they say, okay, we know we've been waiting for this film long enough we're gonna drop it on disney plus like today at this point and that'll make me happy if so i mean i've been waiting for this film for so freaking long and if they drop it on disney plus that'll be a bombshell of an announcement a really good bombshell should i add so praying for it all right so moving on to our last news story of this week as you guys can probably tell i'm a bit bummed and i hate to have our final news story of this week be a bummer but I saw this and I just had to talk about it. So I'm pretty sure I could speak for the world, or for most of us, I should say, when I could probably say that we love Deadpool. Deadpool is one of the most beloved characters of all time. The first Deadpool movie I absolutely loved. And Deadpool 2, I thought was a great sequel. Didn't quite reach the heights of the first one, I thought, but it came really, really close. And of course, as you could probably imagine, ever since Deadpool 2 came out, we have all been wondering how Deadpool is not only going to go into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but how it's also going to be a X-Force movie. Maybe, but apparently from what I've been hearing, Deadpool 3 might happen way later if not may, may not be happening at all now i don't want to say may not be happening at all but due to what i'm hearing it's probably gonna ha be happening way later than sooner so according to rob liefeld the reason why there has been no updates on a deadpool 3 is because it stalled according to him marvel has done pretty much nothing now i'm not trying to put words in his mouth but from what i've been hearing he said blame Marvel because there has been nothing been going on in terms of development for Deadpool 3. Nothing has been going on and apparently according to what he's been saying no updates have been happening because Marvel apparently has not been working out. Now I'm not trying to put words in his mouth once again I'm paraphrasing what he's seeing but according to Rob Liefeld Marvel has stalled on a Deadpool 3. It sucks that they've stalled Deadpool 3 if that's the case. It really does because I really I really do want to see how Deadpool would be integrated into the MCU. I mean, and plus, please Marvel make it rated R. Please, we don't, I, I'm pretty sure fans, I cannot speak for all the fans out there, but I am pretty certain that fans do not want a PG-13 Deadpool. I really do hope that Deadpool 3 goes somewhere at some point in time. Alrighty guys, and that is going to do it for this week's show. Please comment down below and let me know below how do y'all feel about the Uncharted movie resuming shooting very soon. Also, when it comes to the new Rooster Brothers Netflix movie starring Chris Evans and also Ryan Gosling. Also, I want to ask how you guys feel about Deadpool 3 being stalled. Are you guys pissed about this or do you think maybe it's the best possible option for this movie for the time being? Also, how do you guys feel about the Comic-Con at home panel for New Moons? Do you think that they'll drop it on Disney Plus very soon after? And finally, how do you guys feel about AMC theaters, their chance for survival going into 2021? Let us know below. I hope you all enjoyed this week's show. If so, please hit that like button. Also, share. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell for whenever a new video from us goes live. If you guys want to see any of our previous two shows, please click on the right there or there. And of course, until next week's show, we'll see you guys next week. Have a great week, guys. And stay safe out there.